And we have more on this story later in the program. We'll be speaking with uh, Charles Gordant of the Hennessy Group. Well, industry reports have shown that massive losses in hedge funds have contributed to the stock market declines. Charles Gordant is managing principal at Hennessy Group. He has characterized uh, here his hedge fund industry as experiencing their very own conundrum. He's here to explain some of the implications of that and really what that means. Thanks, Charles, for joining us. Thank so you. So what does that mean? The hedge fund industry is experiencing its own conundrum. <laughs> well, um, year to date, hedge funds as an asset class are down about one and a half percent, according to the Hennessy Index, which is on Bloomberg, by the way. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as the conundrum is concerned, it's, it's largely a, a very bad market for everyone, including hedge funds. We have the yield curve flattening, we have a tight equity trading range, and low interest rates. Those three things combined, coupled with a low volatility index, the VIX, um, is really something that is not very good for hedge funds right now. So we have a lot of cross currents a changing in, in the marketplace and hedge funds are feeling some, some of the pain, but no heavy losses uh, that are concentrated as an industry. Let, let me ask you about some of the things that may be contributing to this, because when we would talk to traders some weeks ago when we saw the markets declining, there was a concern and traders would say, well, you know, we're hearing that hedge funds have, you know, been in GM and GM bonds and that's not working out. They're unwinding positions and that's why we're seeing some of this in the market. What have been the other factors? The dollar, uh, some of the losses we've seen there, what's happening? Well, um Hedge funds did experience some pain with the GM trade, uh, but there are other factors that need to be considered. There are hedgers and there are hedge funds, and hedge funds are only one aspect of the community of hedgers. Uh, we, we heard recently that Southwest uh, Airlines hedged up their oil uh, supply for several years out, and so they put pressure on oil prices when oil was down real low. Um, the New York Mercantile Exchange came out with a study in March stating that hedge funds reduce volatility and add liquidity to the oil market. So, um, um, and the Fed has said recently that hedge funds are not adding to instability. So I'm not sure what people are getting at when they say hedge funds are creating instability in the marketplace. Um, um, they might be confusing things that are being done by hedgers that are not hedge funds. For example, insurance companies hedge their portfolios, pension plans hedge their portfolios, airlines hedge up in oil, uh, China, Japan hedge up in oil. So there's a lot of hedging going on. And the dollar uh, is weak because of the trade deficit. And there's Citibank as a big currency trader, and they're hedging their dollar exposure. So a lot of things, very complicated. And it's become very easy to point to hedge funds. Too easy. Let me ask you about this, because when you look at it, you say a lot of cross currents. So it's been difficult as well for hedge funds oh, in definitely. the traditional sense to make money in this market. What are some of the strategies that you're looking at now that may be, uh, because people do look to hedge funds really to offset what they're seeing well, in the market then? Well, the, the strategy that's really knocking them dead so far this year is the short only or short buy strategy. They're up 17%. Everyone else is somewhere between negative 2 to positive 2% in return. Um, and that's a function of the elements I mentioned earlier, the marketplace. So short only is the main strategy that's, that's doing very well. Um, distress is holding its own, high yield holding its own. But there's a fear about credit spreads widening, so there's money um, moving out of those strategies. Your sense is that we continue with some of this uh, chop through the summer in terms of the volatility for the market? Yeah, I think hedge funds are holding their own. Look, relative to the NASDAQ, and, and the Russell 2000, the S&P hedge funds are doing okay, uh, nothing to write home about, and I think you stay tight with them. Uh, this market's going to turn around when the Fed stops raising uh, rates, which could be very soon, and uh, I think hedge funds will be on the forefront of that move. We have to leave it there. We appreciate your time Thank you. coming in. Thanks so much.